grabbed the baby and ran downstairs. Upon laying on the sofa in the duvet with the baby, I started to hear footsteps on the stairs and distant crying. The first few years, nothing happened. All was quiet. That's how it starts. Yeah. They reel you into that false sense of security. I'm on fire. <laughs> they call me a dictionary. <laughs> I call you a dick. <laughs> Shinary. We, we are, are back. back and welcome back to our channel you beautiful lot happy thursday and today we bring for you some more of our followers spooky, spooky stories. stories because last week you guys uh, sent us over some and because of that video we've had quite a few more yeah. so we thought we'd share them because we absolutely love reading out your stories and you guys love to hear it as well so here they are but before we do get into today's video be sure to Get yourself a brew. Turn off the lights. And let's get into the video. I like that. I give it a bit of... Oh, you nearly headbutted me. Nearly headbutted you. Now, just for those Hawkeye people of, like out there, you'll realise I'm wearing the England shirt once again. Now, I'm not a minger. I have got other clothes. But until it comes home, or until the boys come home, I'm going to be repping the shirt. Yeah, so you'll see this all the way up until either England get knocked out, which they're not going to, or England win. Exactly. Which is going to happen. Yeah. I've got a feeling. Anyway, anyway into the video. <laughs> okay, first story comes from Kaylee and it's called, which I love, My Cousin's House, Capitals, Never Again. That's just, that screams clickbait, doesn't it? That can be <laughs> clicking on that email quick time. <laughs> so it says, Hi Lainey and Ben. I have been a follower since you first started posting about your porn, paranormal activity. I thought you were going to say something else there. I know, I'm porn, sorry. Porn. Oh, no lady. Paranormal activity. <laughs> you are both incredible. No, you are incredible, yeah, Katie. Yeah, you are. And thank you for being one of our OGs. Yeah, you've been around since the, the dawn of time. <laughs> I just wanted to share some of my experiences with you. My cousin's house is so blink and active, it's unreal. She has had things disappear for months at a time and then reappear somewhere else in the house. There's knocking, banging, movements, you name it, she has it. Sound familiar? It does indeed. Very familiar. My wallet is just, it keeps going rogue. It it's does. still going rogue. <laughs> so, two of my many experiences at her house. Here goes. I was 14 at the time, a mature 14, and she had nipped out to a friend's house, so I was looking after my baby cousin. I was sat on the sofa watching TV when I heard the baby crying, so I went upstairs, bottle in hand, ready to consult the baby. Only she wasn't crying, and was in fact Sparkle. So I went back downstairs. Oh my God, can you imagine that? The crying started again, so again, I went back upstairs, bottle in hand, only this time I noticed that the loft hatch just outside her room had been moved. Oh, oh. Then the brain starts ticking, doesn't yeah. it? Then you're like, oh. Who is it? How has this happened? Who the? What the? I grabbed the baby and ran downstairs. Upon laying on the sofa in the duvet with the baby, I started to hear footsteps on the stairs and distant crying. <laughs> Thankfully, my cousin came home and managed to settle me back down. I didn't sleep a wink that night, nor did I ever stay in her home again. I'm not surprised. I, even if she wanted a babysitter, I'd be like, nah. <laughs> See you later. Oh my god, can you imagine that? No. Oh. Yeah, well, yes, but no. You'd be like shitting yourself if it was somebody that had let themselves into the house, and you'd yeah. be shitting yourself if it was a ghost as well. Yeah, you can't win. No, there's no. Another experience in the same house was when me and my cousin were having a ciggy sat on the stairs. We heard footsteps upstairs and both turned around and said, Name, go back to bed, only to find she was not there. I turned back around and sat down on the fourth step up. Only this time it w I went cold and my cousin said that my skin colour went grey. We heard footsteps again going down the stairs. My colour and temperature went back to normal. What? I'm 31 now and still to this day I will not be alone in her home. No. I hope these stories give you a little chuckle as much as they do me. Although they didn't in real time. No, I yeah, bet they I'm didn't. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I love your post to keep it up. Thank you so much for sharing that what? amazing story. How cool. What? How weird. L n mega weird. Ah! I can't cope with that. I can, we're off to a flyer here and I can't cope with it. <laughs> this one is just titled Spooky Story. No? So Short you, and sweet. It just gets to the point. It's punchy. Like it. Hi, my name is Melissa. Hi, Hi Melissa. Melissa. I'd like to share my paranormal experience with you guys. Lego. I'd like you to share your paranormal experience with us, guys. Melissa. <laughs> Two. 
So when I moved out of my parents' house in 2014, I moved into a tiny little flat. Just me and my little dog, Charlie. The first few years, nothing happened. All was quiet. That's how it starts. Yeah. They reel you into that false sense of security. And then what happens? And then they're like... And then a few... A few years passed and I noticed things would go missing. Right. Missing. Uh, Right. Is is she talking about our house and experiences right now? (laughs) Do you live with us? Literally vanished. My main one was my medication. Oh no. One night, one night it will be there on the kitchen side. By morning it disappeared and nowhere to be seen. What? That's awful. That that's pa- that's bad you actually. Need that. Yeah, exactly. Imagine explain that to the GP. Yeah. Sorry, doctor. I need some more meds. The ghost storm of medicine. <laughs> At no first, chance. I thought I was going crazy. My family thought I was losing the plot until one day, one day my dad put one of my medications in brackets, the one that was always disappearing on the kitchen side. And I stayed at my parents' house so nobody was at mine overnight. We returned the next morning and they were gone. Oh my God. Yeah, mad. Oh my God. I think like you've got a ghost who's bloody work in the black market here. (laughs) Now he believed me. That night I went back home. My dog Charlie was barking in the corner of my bedroom. I said, there's nothing there. I had a man whisp it in my ear. Shh, it'll be okay. Oh my God! Kid me not. I packed my stuff and I went back to my parents' house for the night. I soon moved home uh, and nothing has happened since. I hope you guys get round to reading this. Oh my God. So this is a one an amazing story but two only a few nights ago i had a man's voice warn me about something mm. i can't we can't, can't divulge. divulge yet but it is coming yes it is on route but how weird is that that's bad isn't it medication though like wallet did one it ever thing. come back did you ever get it back oh that's a great question i wonder if the medication ever came back oh my god i mean like obviously wallets and earrings are one thing but you but medication. need medication you need it. Medication. I would have been locking that shit up in a safe. But you did the right thing, actually, by moving. You did the right thing. <laughs> yeah, but if, you, if what's the point in locking it up in a safe if a ghost can just watch the call, you put the cord in? Oh, yeah. If they can steal your meds, they can totally put a cord in on the safe. Oh. What's the point? You make a very valid point. Good point, well presented. <laughs> Thank you so much for that story. Love it. Spooky story. I met the brother I never knew existed. That's right, one hell of a title. I'm, I'm here for this already. That's a hell of a cut title. Oh. I think I just found our title for this video. Yes. Hi, Lily and Ben. Love watching you guys and following your journey. We love you watching us and following our journey, so yeah, thank you. thank you so much. I was in my 20s and had been experiencing some spooky activity, so decided to do some guided meditations to relax me. Love a guided meditation. So do I, actually. That. Yeah. I'm like, ADHD Ben, it just mellows me. For it about, helps, doesn't it? All for about five minutes. Hey, it's five minutes is five minutes. Five minutes of peace for Lainey. <laughs> During one meditation, we were taken through a meadow, up three steps to open doors to a church. When I arrived at the door, before I had a chance to open it, the door swung open and a handsome young man was standing, smiling in front of me. Completely confused as I was expecting my nan, we walked over to the grass and sat down together. He just looked at me with a huge grin. Oh, this is beautiful. Isn't it? And I began to realise he looked like me. Same hair colour, skin, same smile. After what seemed like forever, I soon realised he was my brother. (gasps) I could cry about that. Shut up. That's incredible. I could cry at that. I decided to ask my mum about this and she went white. Needless to say, she was not expecting that. She just she told me she'd lost a baby a year before I was born oh. and she always felt it was a boy. Oh. Shocked but so, so happy he came to introduce himself to me. It was a gift to meet him. I'm trying not to cry about this. Oh my God. I always felt like I shouldn't be an only child and now I know why. Much love. Kerry from Chester. Kerry, Kerry from Chester, you're going to get us bubbling, man. That is beautiful. That's an incredible story. What an incredible experience that must be. How do you even, like... And to, be, like, be greeted with, by, by, like... 
a beautiful smile. Yeah. That's and then the just, power of meditation. And you can like imagine like that calmness and that like experience of seeing that person and sitting on the grass together and realizing who they are to you and then and then having it confirmed by your mum. Like, could you like that has it happened since? Like could, like is it something that you can kind of like tap into almost? Oh, like could you like go and visit your brother? through the guided meditation like is just... that right people who do these things yeah or like, people who are like sensitives can you answer that can you do uh, that i like could you imagine like if you you could meet your mum through oh guided meditation God. whenever you wanted like I you could just like that. you're almost like knocking on her door like her spiritual I would love oh my that. god what a thought <laughs> if it's not possible we're gonna make it possible. okay <laughs> science will prove this <laughs> wow yeah my paranormal experience again Perfect. short and punchy Love straight it. to the point hello laney and ben hi my skepticism in afterlife has decreased a lot after watching your videos oh well do you know what ours has decreased a lot since experience yeah this agreed <laughs> so this is my story since i was a kid there was not a day that goes by without me getting scared in the night because since that young age I was fascinated by the idea of the paranormal and everything related to it. I love that. So do I. Just I like a natural inquisitiveness. Yeah. I just love watching horror movies. I was in my third year of my MBBS medicine. Ooh, someone's very clever. I had an exam that day. I was in a highly stressed study mode in my room and then I suddenly hear a loud glass breaking sound it was really loud. In a normal situation, I would have had a heart attack. But since I was in fear, flight, fright mm -hmm. mode already, yeah. I uncannily was not so terrified. I really do not remember the time. It could have been something between 2 a.m. and 10 a.m. Wow, okay. And there was nothing in the bedroom, and I'll attach a picture for you. So Ooh. there is a photo to go with this. Okay, intrigued. I am from a science background, so physics could not explain this phenomenon, but Love I that. always question the intensity. The glass was completely shattered. Oh my god. Like someone more than a human could shatter it. Oh, wow. And there was one more point. I occupied all the rooms in the first floor of my house because my brother left for a higher studies to US. I actually already had an irrational fear of that room way before that incident. If you want me to tell you my irrational reason, I'll surely do. I would love to listen to your point of view. And do you want to see the photo? Oh my God. I put it on screen now. It's <gasps> absolutely rattled. So that's like a shower screen. It looks like it. Wow, it really has just literally shattered. Capitulated. It, Is that the right word? Pixelated. No, capitulated. Pixelated. Capitulated. Capitulated. Is that the right word? I don't know. I've never heard that word in my life. Let me know in the comments. I don't know. I've heard that word somewhere before. Oh. It's like, you know, when fun, something completely crumbles. Stop it. I'm like getting Woo! a bit old. Smarty pants. I'm reading, <laughs> I'm reading a scientist story and I think I'm all clever now. <laughs> That is crazy. So who was that from? That was from Say Se Is Bindu. it Say or Sai? Say or Sai, sorry, I hope we're saying that right, but amazing. Wow. What an, what an experience. How weird. So he was the only one on his own in the house and that happened. Yeah. And he didn't even get a fright because he was so stressed out with like, like his exams. His exams. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, bless him. That's mental. Wow. Wow. And to have a scientific brain to kind of be like, hmm. I but know. But then like yeah. your scientific brain telling you that your science, that your science can't be correct in physic <laughs> physics. Does that make sense? Yeah. Unreal. This one's titled Doctor's Surgery Spooky Story. And I am here for that because I am desperate for people who work in like doctors and uh, hospitals yeah. to send their weird, strange stories in from what they've experienced. There's actually a TikTok page of a nurse I know, yeah. who reads off her stuff, like spooky experiences. I think we said that last week, didn't I, we? Um, we might have done. I can't remember. There's anyway. Wrong. Anyway, this one says, this isn't mind blowing, but it was weird. What, what a it start. I mean, like, yeah. Recently, I started a new job cleaning after hours at the local doctor's surgery. It was usual for one or two doctors to stay after hours to do admin, and myself and my colleague, Laura, would have to wait for them to leave in order to clean their offices. How inconvenient. Yeah, that is a bit annoying, isn't it? For everyone, even the doctors having to stay behind. Yeah. There was an evening where two of the doctors were still at their desks working late. 
I was at the furthest end of the long corridor in the surgery and my colleague Laura was maybe 20 yards away from away walking along the corridor heading towards me. She was looking down and didn't notice one of the two doctors walked straight past her. She reached where I was standing and I commented that we could now go and clean that vacated office as one of the doctors had just left. She looked at me and said, no, both doctors are still at the desks. I disagreed with her and laughed because I thought she must have been in a world of her own not to have noticed him. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. I said, Laura, one of the doctors has just walked straight past you. Didn't you see him? He's just left for the day. She was adamant no one had walked past her. I went down to the doctor's rooms to prove her wrong to find that the doctors were both still sat at their desks. Imagine, Who was it then? No, imagine though, like how you'd feel like you've just seen this, you're confident in your you're answer. Like, you're so sure. Come with me, I will show you. Yeah. And then you're like, ah? Yeah, like, well, who was that? Yeah. How weird. That's mad. There was two pharmacy staff in the building, but they were both female. The person I saw was a tall, athletic-sized man in light clothing. I didn't just glance at him. I'd watched this man walk all the way down the corridor towards the exit. That's one hell of an experience. Oh there was no one else in the building. The front door was locked. I am uh, loving that. This... Can you imagine that? Because it's so casual, isn't it? Uh, he... So you, you're not looking at it going, oh my God, it's a ghost. You're just seeing someone. It's not until like, in hindsight, you realise that it's Something different, yeah. Oh, I love that. that... Okay. Oh, but what? <sighs> Not long after seeing the man in the corridor downstairs, I was upstairs in the admin area cleaning all of the glass panels in the office doors, working my way along the corridor. All the office doors were closed and locked except the end office where I went in to do a quick wipe of a desk. Not 30 seconds later, I came out of the room and my colleague was closing and locking a storage cupboard door next to that office. She asked me if I had been in it because she found it open and the light was on. Okay, weird. I said no. And I was taken aback because when I passed by just moments before, the door was definitely closed and locked. <sighs> that would stress me out. Last week. We're not done yet. Oh, God. We are not done yet. As soon as last week. Last week, someone coughed behind me in an empty office. No one was even on the same floor. I was completely alone and it startled me. Did you just run? You've got a sick ghost. I was just... Someone's just winding her up like you got COVID. A, you got a poorly, poorly sick, sick ghost. <laughs> Love the channel. Keep up the great work. Love the mind-blowing content. Dave and Andy, you're awesome. I'm saying that out loud for them. Be, but careful with those scissors. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. You'll have someone's eye out. <laughs> <laughs> From Vicky. Oh, Vicky, oh, wow. thank you. That's one hell of a story. Love that story. That's like... It, there's so much that went on in that story. I'm just like <laughs> compartmentalizing. Look at me with the big words today. I am on fire. <laughs> they call me a dictionary. I call you a dick. <laughs> Shinary. Right, we are going to move on to our last story of the day, and it is from Hannah. Hi, Hannah. This one is my two short spooky stories. Cool. So we've got two double whammy. Throw them at us. Hi guys, it's Hannah. Hi Hannah. Loving the content and loving getting to know uh, you as well as Dave and Andy. Oh, I know I'm with you on that. It is lush like that. Everyone knows the four of us. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we don't come as Eleni and Ben anymore. Nah. Eleni, Ben, Dave and Andy. <laughs> what, what's that abbreviated? Le Ben... Labd. Devandy. Labd. <gasps> Le Ben Devandy, I prefer. Okay, well, you should stick with that. I'm going to go Labd. Sounds like exotic. <laughs> Yeah, you need to keep telling yourself that, darling. Which I absolutely am not. <laughs> when I was around nine, I was sleeping in my bed and I was woken up to the feeling of something holding my ankle. Oh, no. I shot up in a panic and looked around the room to see absolutely nothing. Oh, no. So I laid back down Imagine feeling strange nine. and tried to go back to sleep. Imagine being nine and experiencing that. I know. I had the feeling like I was being watched 
and when I opened my eyes, I saw a tall black figure no. standing by the ladder of my bed. Get in the bin, <laughs> Norway! I started to panic and screamed for my nan until she came in to nothing but me screaming in oh. the room. I explained everything and slept in her bed that night. I would have as well. Yeah, so would I. That's so weird. The next day, I was in the kitchen playing with my toys and I heard banging upstairs in my room, like something was running around. I decided to ignore it and carried on playing until I heard the kettle switch on and the ticking of the gas knob. Oh, nah. Nah. Right, you can't deny that then. You're like, wait, is that the kettle? Wait, is that the gas knob? Like, you can be like, did I hear footsteps from one running around? But then those I'm things on top f- of it. It's really funny, if you leave that on for too long, you've got a gas issue. You're yeah. going to go tick, tick, boom. You are. You're going to blow up. You are. I went what over. What would you do? I don't know. When, if you were nine year old and you experienced that, what would you do? I wouldn't know what to do at nine. Nah. Shit me pants. <laughs> I went over and turned off the kettle and the hob. And as I turned around my toys flew off the table oh my i ran God. to my nan and explained again what had happened but she passed it off as my imagination until why do nans do that why why do grown-ups <laughs> do that until i was 16 and me and my nan were in the kitchen and the drawers were being open and the cupboards were banging open and closed oh my God. and that was the moment she explained to me it was uncle john she, do you know what? She knew that she, whole time. She, I'm sorry, Hannah, but Uncle John, sh- you should have been made aware of Uncle John. Like, absolutely. I would have wanted to know about Uncle John. However, Uncle John, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Leave us alone. Stop putting the kettle on. I don't want to brew. <laughs> she told me the story of when I was five or six, my Uncle John would sit on the sofa with me and hold my ankles as a comfort thing and would walk into the house and stand in the room until someone notices and scare people as he was a prankster. Wait, it hold her upside down by her ankles? No, no, I hope not. Wait, I'm so confused. No, I think she, he'd just like, you he'd know... Hold her ankles just, as a just, comfort no, thing and then walk into the house? No, like he would be in, like he would walk into the house and kind of just appear to people. That's how I pictured it. Right. But he would hold her ankles as a comfort, as a comfort thing to right. her. Okay. Does sorry. that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I just completely heard. No, that no, one. you're absolutely fine. It's probably my shite reading. <laughs> I've got the reading age of like a, a four-year-old. No, you don't. I can promise you, you don't. It's more like an eight-year-old. I'm not kidding. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel any better. Did you not read to people as a kid? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we move. move. <laughs> That got awkward. Sorry if this is a little difficult to read. Uh, it's not. Sorry if this is a little difficult to understand. No, it's just my shite reading. We've covered this. <laughs> but the summary is my nan thinks it was my Uncle John pretending, protecting me <laughs> as I was always his favourite niece. Uncle John, you little rascal, you. Papa John. Papa, oh. But that's a, that's a freaking cool story. What I a way to that. bow us out there. I love that story. Oh my God. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah, that's a beautiful story. Scary and lovely. Yeah. I'm glad it had a good ending. Like, at least you knew who it was that was scaring the crap out of you. And then maybe you wouldn't be so scared. Not quite like that doctor's surgery, though. Oh my God, that was crazy. But anyway, you guys, once again, if we come back at us with some of the weirdest experiences that you have experienced, and it was out of this world, you've smashed it out of the park I've loved it so thank you guys the fact that you take your time out of your lives to compose an email and send it to us means so much so thank you for investing in us so that we can share your beautiful yeah. stories with us and not only like sending us your stories thank you for spending your time watching uh, our yeah. videos <laughs> well, more to the point yeah. I think like, that's, that, ba- that baffles my mind even more if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and tickle my little bell so you get notified whenever we upload. If you'd like to send us over some stories that your experiences that you have had, then be sure to ping it over to us as an email at Laney and Ben. No, Laney and Ben at gmail.com. I'm so used to saying the Instagram <laughs> handle. Speaking of which, come and find us on our social medias. It's at Laney and Ben across all platforms. We'd love to see you over there. Um, that's where we upload or share our content first. So yeah. if you want to see it first, head over there. Absolutely. And uh, all that's left to say, guys, is thank you so much for joining us for another video. We can't wait to see you if you're a member on Saturday and if not, on Sunday. <laughs> And all that's left to say is...
Book to you later. Peace. Peace.